there. Many times people ask me about the interfacing or stabilizers that I use to make my handbags and purses. I normally use this material called um, violin, which is a firm fusible interfacing. I will mention a list of the equivalents in a different brand, a brand called Pelon that I'm not very familiar with uh, because it's easier for me to get the violin uh, f uh, fusible interfacing. But this is the firm interfacing. It is shiny on one side and this is the side that has the glue on it. And the way you use it is uh, to cut a piece of the size of the fabric that you want to interface, like this. And you just put your fabric facing up, then you put the interfacing facing down, followed by a damp cloth, which you will then iron by pressing 15 seconds and then you will lift. Continue to the next area by 15 seconds and lifting until the whole piece of your fabric is done. Please do not move, do not slide the iron, just press and lift. And this is what it ends end up looking like. This was my original fabric, as you see, floppy. And this is a piece with the interfacing. This is a cotton fabric. I normally work with cotton fabrics only, but, but this piece here is a wax cotton that I just wanted to use today and I wanted to experiment and it works really well with the interfacing, so I'm happy about that. My recommendation is always to test your fabrics uh, with the materials you're using, with the interfacing or a stabilizer you're using. Test a little sample. I never use synthetic fabrics because they tend to burn ob for obvious reasons. So my recommendation, use a cotton mix. And um, the next one is the fusible fleece, which you see is like a, like a foam. This is a scrap piece that I have. Bumpy on one side and woolly on the other. The bumpy side is the one with the glue on it. And then, like before, you will cut the size that you need, put it on top of your fabric with the rubbery side down, again with the damp cloth on top, and iron in the same way. Just press 15 seconds and lift until you have covered all your areas. And this is the, the same materials with the different stabilizer. It's much puffier. And many times I use both of them combined. So on top of the first stabilizer, I will put a layer of the fleece as well. And it turns out to be quite well. And last but not least is one of my favorites, which is this um, uh, stabilizer. It's, it's a foam and it is fusible on both sides. And you apply this in a different way. You put the, the, the stabilizers on top of your ironing mat. Then you put the fabric of your choice and then you just iron it as you would normally iron a piece of fabric. And this is the result, much firmer, as you see, much rigid, uh, more rigid than the others do. The main thing to remember as well is once you have ironed this interfacing or stabilizers to your fabric, let it rest for, I normally give it at least half an, half an hour so the glue sets and you don't have to be uh, having to retouch every bit of fabric that you have done. To show you a bit what it works like, I have a sample here. This uh, clutch purse only has the fusible fleece in it, j just that, and it's soft and it is puffy but much softer and bouncy. This one has the violin, the, the firm interfacing and the fleece and it's much um, rigid.
I think, I, I don't know if I explained, if you, you're going to use these two combined, uh, first apply the, the, um, the interfacing to your fabric and then when that has dried or cooled down I should say, you press, you apply the, the fleece on top and then you will achieve this kind of um, effect. The last one I have here, this makeup bag, only has the stabilizer and it can stand by itself. This is my favorite material to work with if you don't mind uh, that it's a little bit bulkier. Always um, with this especially, uh, it is a good idea as well uh, to cut the piece a little bit smaller than your fabric piece, about a quarter of an inch or half a centimeter so that you, when you do the, your seam on the sides, you don't get too much of a bulk of the material. Another stabilizer that I have, I have used before, is this one, Pelon Peltex 71F. It is fusible on one side and is much rigid. It's bumpy where the glue is and almost like a fleece at the back, but it feels more like cardboard. And I have a sample here, I have used it in this piece of fabric. You can see how rigid it is. I have only used it a couple of times, and I haven't done it for a while now, because um, I find that because it's so rigid, when I'm working with the fabric and sewing, it doesn't bend so nicely it's not as flexible. Can you see it goes and folded, very sharp bends on the fabric. So if you compare with the other ones, like the fleece and uh, just the firm interfacing, obviously, and, and, the, and the spongy one. Um, that's the only reason why I don't use it as much. It's perfect for other kinds of craft uh, projects. You might want to try it and it is applied in the same way as the others. Here are the instructions as you see. You just uh, put the, the shiny glue side on the reverse of your fabric. Iron on the right side just for a moment, just to fix it for a bit. But then you put the damp cloth and you press an iron um, for 15 seconds as you did with the other ones. So this is what I know about interfacings and stabilizers. These are my favorite, my three favorites. And this is another one you might be interested in. And I think that's it about uh, stabilizers and interfacings. They're other ranges and their sew on stabilizers. I have never used them. I always use the fusible ones because I like the fabric to be attached to the interfacing so the fabric doesn't move as you're using your bag or purse. I'm sure it must be they must be very useful for different kind of projects. And uh, I'm sure there's something else I wanted to say. Oh, the other thing important is to consider what kind of fabric you're using because if it is um, an upholstery fabric or a thicker cotton like, like the one you would use for making curtains, perhaps you only need um, just a firm interfacing instead of having to use a thicker material. So as I said before, just test your fabrics and see which one is more su suitable for you. So I hope that this has been useful and see you soon. Thank you.